KG7TUO here again and today I'm going to build a version of my antenna that's intended to be inexpensive and quick and easy to build so we can do an antenna class and it's designed for permanent mount so it's going to have a, a mast on the bottom of it that you can clamp to a vent pipe or something hook up your, R, your uh, RG8 and run it to your radio and be ready to go so what we're going to need for this one is five feet of PVC pipe and that'll do the boom as well as the mast one regular three-quarter inch PVC T and a CPVC 90 that's got the cap on it need some stainless hardware one inch 1024 bolts machine screws actually uh, lock nuts flat washers and regular nuts because it's going to be uh, permanent mount and the wing nuts are very expensive you don't need the wing nuts if it's up on a roof permanently and then two screws a flat washer and a couple of lock nuts for the SO239 and three of the little ring terminals that will be used to uh, connect the elements and the ground to the SO239 and then in addition to the five feet of PVC two little three-quarter inch long pieces of three-quarter inch PVC to just to reinforce the T where we're going to be drilling and this will be a little bit different design than before this one we're going to just have the bolt on the inside so we're going to drill a larger hole on the one side and the bolt will only be coming out from the other side Makes the bolt shorter and you get a lot more of them for the same price at Lowe's so trying to keep the cost down and then we'll use uh, RG58 to run the feed line and there will be a couple of uh, drainage holes in it so that we don't have to use a whole lot of RTV to seal it up and we don't have to go to the expense of the plugs that are cost way more than the T's all just to try and get a, an antenna that we can build in a class uh, for new hams for twenty dollars a piece and have everything covered so like the last time first step is going to be to glue up some uh, reinforcement I'm using little three-quarter inch long roughly uh, pieces of PVC pipe I'll glue them and drive them down in there with the hammer just like last time and if they stick out a little bit that's okay uh, we're gonna leave this open so primer Now that that's in there, we're going to cut two feet off of our five foot piece of uh, PVC. Actually, 20 inches. Doesn't have to be a nice and flat cut, so I'm going to use these fancy schmancy but not all that great cutters and the two feet or the 20 inch piece will be the boom the remaining little over three feet will be the mast next thing we'll do is use this piece of scrap to keep that straight we'll drill the holes I'm gonna select the side that's the smoothest that's this one this is the side the elements will be on so since we're drilling a larger hole on the back side of that we want this down and we'll drill straight through about a half an inch there's a nice little mark there that one's drilled. I've already selected the larger bit. This was selected so that my bit would go through. If you have a skinny screwdriver you could just use that. We're only going to drill through the first side.
of that so that the bit can get through there and drive the screw. So we're done with this little piece. And these are number 10 dash 24 by one inch machine screws. And because we're going in from the other side, I picked one with the beveled heads instead of the flat head. It's beveled. So it'll better fit the curve of the pipe. Now being stainless steel, they're not going to want to go in there very well. Just put it upside down. Drive it through. Same thing. And that's in there nicely. This might try a little bit more on this one. Don't want to strip them. There we go. Same thing as last time, two flat washers. This time we're using split lock washers and regular nuts. Because it's going to be a permanent installation. So now, primer and glue the boom. Want it in there good. And now we're going to put the CPVC T on the other side. This will be the side that comes down for the mast and the boom will come out here. So we're going to glue it here. We want to make sure we have these lined up in the direction we want them. trick here being make sure you get that end lined up where you want it. Get it straight before that glue sets. Pretty good. Now we're going to let that dry. Okay, the glue is fairly dried. Next step, I'm going to take the cap off of the uh, CPVC. And we're going to drill this uh, hole, the SO239. This time I'm using a spade bit going right into the center of that circle. And this is a 5 8 spade. I want to bring it up on a thicker board here. And I just cut right through it. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Nice clean hole. SO239 goes right in. Plenty of room for the screws. So that's done. Now we're going to drill the hole to bring the feed line into the pipe. We want to do that on the same side as the elements are going to be mounted. We want to do it back a slight bit from here, the T. Just going to drill straight down. And then we're going to angle it to make it easier on that feed line. Seal this hole with silicone. That's it for that step other than run the line.